Hi guys, today another time, a very special one for you. This was uh, available on British eBay for 60 British pounds and the seller had actually four of them. The seller is G.I. Joe Army Stores. So, it was uh, advertised as being an aircraft uh, sensor, but I believe not. It is a more a battle tank sensor and not any random sensor. Because if you look at the description here, we have contrast, brightness, reticle, a gray stick for the bore sight, focus near and far, fov, whatever it is, and thermal mode, off, standby, and on. So we have here a thermal camera sensor from a battle tank bore sight. Very, very interesting. It is something like uh, not far from 10 kilos probably. So I will zoom for you first on the label here. So it is called the sensor unit assembly SU3229. I found absolutely no information online about this. Made in 1985 apparently. And uh, it was uh, advertised as being uh, Avimo brand. But we have Thales stickers everywhere. So here is obviously the user interface side. Here we have very special setup with a cryo cooler unit going obviously uh, with a little pipe into uh, the inside of the device. We have an hour meter for the cryo cooler. We have a blanking plate here with nothing behind, just plain aluminium. So maybe it is more cosmetic. On the rear, big access panel and uh, big multi-pin connector on this side nothing on the bottom oops a big uh, access panel also and the most interesting must be on the top we have here the window apparently made of germanium as this is a thermal camera So there is a number of screws to undo. I believe I will uh, start uh, with removing this unit as uh, anyways it is in the, in the way. And I will need to remove it later to access uh, here if I want to take this apart. Also I will remove the front panel. And then uh, we will see if there is something in the, what there is in the bottom panel because as it is a nice stand, I should be, uh, I should like to reuse this uh, for the next uh, part of the video. So first I will undo, uh, you know what, I am really curious, let's first undo this uh, front cover, the front panel, and see what we have here. I hope it will be uh, possible to get it completely out of the way. So apparently we have uh, US screws, Imperial screws I mean. So it looks like uh, this was US made but I did not find any uh, indication about this really. Obviously the button here in the middle is not the original one, it has been replaced. And why I undo screws, the hour meters it is at 75 hours here. So I have no idea if we will see uh, directly what we have inside. 
after removing this panel maybe it will not come at all because maybe it is not the correct way ah seems it wants to come okay let me zoom for you on this so whatever this is we have a flat flex here connecting this part which might actually be the sensor part itself as the uh, cryo cooling pipe goes in here interesting so this is empty from uh, any gas i did uh, already check and sadly one screw here did a break in the in the thread and uh, it was stuck and it, uh, i did break the screw Okay, I have a connector to undo. Okay, it is a correct size of a very small Allen, Imperial Allen screw. The kind of connector you want to undo equally from both sides. And I already have a feeling it will be very difficult to reinstall because the cable is extremely short. there is a lot of empty space inside you can see and it would be perfectly possible to use a longer cable but for some reason here they did not take extra cable in consideration and okay we will have a better look at this panel later let me get it out of the way Uh, next, uh, I will undo real quick uh, this assembly here. So, I did already loosen the screws in order to save a little bit of time. So, this is obviously uh, one assembly that can be uh, replaced quite easily. And uh, actually, this is a very interesting assembly. Because you can see here the brand is Carleton Live Support. I did check their website. They make live support for uh, space and uh, as uh, space uh, astronauts live support and also cooling system for missiles. So really not a random brand. So I can and do the screws here for the cooler coolant inlet because I know there is no coolant left. Probably liquid and nitrogen. I did not, did not find any precise information of uh, about how this thing work here. So I guess it is, it is some kind of compressor, but obviously there is only one uh, pipe. So it is going one way in this direction and there is no return of uh, coolant. So uh, quite a weird device. Looks like the uh, all here is uh, some kind of a thinning part. Uh, stainless pipe here and no pressure left whatsoever. This is good. I can now undo the little nut for the connector here. This is completely out of the way. And I can undo uh, finally the heat sink for this assembly. And it will loosen, I guess, the this uh, cylinder at the same time I hope at least I will have to fast forward some of the screw removal action because really there is a lot of screws on the covers okay 
very interesting device here quite obscure device so this was really a bargain this thing at 60 british pounds the seller had four of them and at the time i'm speaking i believe there is one remaining i did even consider getting a second one okay just eating here on this piece we will have a better look at later but I believe actually there is not much to see because it is completely sealed okay oh, this is interesting worth checking later so this is out of the way uh, what to do next? Uh, yes, uh, remove the bottom panel. So, uh, not the correct size. So, what do you think we will have in here? Make your guess. Ta -da. Okay, a big card cage with uh, three similar cards here, three cards here with a number of trimmers, two other ones here, and flat flex connections going to them. So I believe it is time to uh, put the camera overhead on the uh, first we will have a look at these cards then I will be able to reinstall the base and it will be uh, more convenient for continuing. So before I remove the cards, uh, a look at this cover. It is uh, really super thick. Quite uh, insane. So uh, okay, me. I have to figure out how to how to undo these cards. Apparently, I believe I need to undo first this uh, protector piece on the side because it will be in the way if I want to undo the little uh, flat flex links here. And then let me try to see if I can pull the cards. Yes, okay. First one, second one here. So there is uh, obviously a big uh, motherboard at the back in uh, black. Black PCB actually with a lot of conformal coating on the connectors going to to the cards and probably uh, then I can see what are probably more connectors on the other side for the wire looms I guess. So I do not think it will be necessary to undo this uh, card cage here because uh, everything should be accessible from the other panels okay well we will see anyways oh, okay not too difficult and I have yet one more kind of card to undo I will do the far one here Very, very fancy uh, circuit boards, obviously. 
Just me. So for some reason they did, uh, you can see the uh, pins here for, for the connectors. They did cover them with some kind of uh, silicone or uh, epoxy group to protect them in some way. It is uh, interesting. We have our flag flex here with a serial number on it. It is not every day you see a serial number on the flat flex, by the way. I need to put this out of the way in a safe condition, more or less. Seems to be quite strong flat flex, but still. You need to be careful with it, in particular here, because it is catching against the uh, solders on the board. Okay, we are good. Very nice uh, EV gold connector here, as you can see. So, now we can have a look at the boards. Let me put this on the side. And we have four different models of boards. We will start with the one I did just remove. Uh, Two connectors of airborne brand, interesting. Philips ceramic ICs CC1366F, interesting. Uh, total lamp caps, some uh, probably resistor networks, and these things which are called AVX. AOL, I do not think it is for America Online. Little black boxes with 10 pins at the back. It is called the assembly uh, on this number. Very EV conformal coating as you can see. And some unpopulated parts in the middle. Interesting. I didn't just notice this. Then the next board, we have three as so of this model in the device. Uh, only numbers. It has a serial number, by the way. Same kind of conformal coating. An armada of uh, trim pots here. And test points, it seems. The same kind of uh, clips. This time CC1367, a whole bunch of them, more uh, resistor networks, it seems. Aris HA2 and uh, Q570. Whatever it is, we have uh, seven pins at this. Uh, at this component on this uh, uh, golden ceramic I see probably completely obscure uh, number you will not find anything about this I guess and you can see how heavily coated is everything it is normal if it is for use in a battle tank you have a lot of uh, temperature variations moisture and uh, so on okay this card was only one of, th of them uh, through all parts, resistors here, a lot of them, precision ones, I guess, here. LM139, okay, this is a regular one we can find. LM148, so it seems to be some kind of uh, analog board. Two little relays here in uh, metal cans. You can see the little schematic of the relay over it. And more trim pots. Okay. But uh, the most interesting one is this one. Because here we have Bodge. 
a lot of them. Uh, where to start? It is pretty insane this board. Look at the apps. Here they did cut a leg from the board on this ship and but when uh, resistor going to another leg here but it is not all here they did glue some kind of a tantalum capacitor over this ship uh, by the way it is an atmel ship here uh, little bulge wires everywhere here there is a bulge I see upside down which is glued over another IC and with only a few legs connected with little wires but it is not all we have one more bulge wires here at the back it is not all because we have here two uh, six pin devices so maybe they are dual transistors uh, coupled transistors, thermally coupled, but they are upside down and mounted on this little board. So it looks like, yes, it is an afterfog because there is no uh, holes made for this uh, part, so it is not just a reverse uh, part design on the PCB, it is really uh, add on. Uh, quartz oscillator here. Crystal oscillator on this nice piece. Uh, orbit brand PS624640. Okay. LM119 uh, op amps here it seems. And always with some kind of conformal coating. So this is really a nice. Uh, Bulge board, very well made, very strong, nothing moves. By the way, you can see really, even this uh, loop of wire here will not move. Interesting. So I will reinstall the boards in the device and then we will be able to open the other covers. But first, a look at the parts I removed at the beginning before I forget the control panel. Rear side, so first uh, front side with a good close up of the everything information. Then rear side, obviously, all what I can say is that really uh, there must be uh, really expensive parts. Look at these sealed potentiometers made in Canada. Here the Four direction uh, button made by machine components in Plainview, New York. Obviously, that contains uh, four micro switches. Yes, X1, XY2, Y1, X2. Interesting, could be reused, but I will obviously not scrap this device. Here, rotary switches. The other ones here to what seems to be a green LEDs or lights here and the uh, super short uh, wire loom going to the uh, again airborne brand connector with of course your golden pins and uh, very thick like uh, four millimeters thick aluminium plate with a rubber seal of course then this unit uh, the cryo unit first the little meter is made by the uh, it is not written yes time totalizing electrodynamics brand it is a nice uh, maybe no the meter uh, comma time totalizing is the device name on the Electrodynamics is the manufacturer. Uh, very little digits inside. And the uh, cable is uh, uh, solidly attached to it. Goes to this connector with uh, 
the same kind of uh, potting compound and we have this unit so the uh, stainless steel tube here going to the sensor with a red o-ring was matching this piece whatever it is if there is a spring little rod with what seems to be a ceiling surfaces here precision machine surfaces and a little filter at the end and a handwritten serial number probably something special then about this device we have, we have two uh, interface pieces here for mechanical coupling or maybe thermal coupling of this device uh, we have one more uh, thing here that will not come off because of the uh, uh, tube I do not want to take apart uh, here again because uh, screws are really really delicate but there is this piece at least and uh, we have a service note of uh, November 3 2000 and it is not possible to read 5 or 8 something like this maybe 2000 uh, it was uh, repaired at the Carlton life support systems facility and here is the information for you, laser engraved, Carleton Live Support. And it is, uh, yes, called a cryo cooler. Really, really interesting. And obviously, there is no way to open it, it is completely sealed. On both sides, little inlet here to put whatever coolant it is using, and just a flange here to connect the pipe. Nothing in particular here, but really, really uh, interesting device. Quite curious device. Okay. Okay, now it is time to undo the back panel, but first here there is some kind of a draining hole. This looks like an uh, hydraulic fitting. No pressure or pressure relief, maybe something like this. Interesting. Little uh, cap, just like a tire uh, valve. Do not break seals, but they are broken already. And what do we have here? Ta -da. Okay, uh, actually, not much to see. Uh, again, very thick uh, metal cover. We have a big uh, plate here with three screws, but I am not sure yet what is going on. We have obviously all the wire looms going to the connector and distributed to the uh, uh, motherboard here with, uh, as I was saying just before, the uh, laser connectors. So it should be possible to remove the wall card sketch, disconnect here cleanly, but I do not think it will be necessary. We have our flat flex here going to the top. Pretty thick uh, flat flex. On this, I am not sure of what is going on, so I prefer not touching it for now. I will uh, first uh, undo the top cover. So, as you can see, there is a few screws, so I will be right back. Okay, the screws are off. Uh, one thing, this cover is feeling different. Well, the other ones are really uh, just access uh, covers to do repairs. This one seems to be precision adjusted. And I guess it would be a little bit more difficult to pull out of the way. Okay, we have one access 
pull here to something and okay but first here the back side of this cover yes i did just uh, increase my collection of germanium germanium lenses here and here here also but here it looks like we have regular optical mirrors because they are made of glass on this precision adjusted part hello hello um, yes your adjustment available to adjust the two lenses here so really this must be expensive I will put this on the side with a piece of towel over it. Okay, so what how do we have here? We have the same unit we did see be before, which is obviously the uh, sensitive unit. But first we have this. Do you remind my? Uh, do you remember my uh, uh, big uh, blue thermal camera? Uh, tear down. I will link in the corner here. It is the same kind of deal. Seems to be a germanium prism assembly. So, is it possible to pull it out of the way? Out of the way with removing the. In fact, it is matching the plate here. So I will undo the three screws now to this plate. And probably it will be possible to pull it out of the way. I hope there is a connector somewhere allowing to have a good look at it. I'm just pushing. Yes, seems it is coming. Okay. I pull the wire and look, I am lucky. There is one connector available. So I need, just need to find the correct bit for the screws. Seems it is a very small one this time. Okay, I am lucky. Because they are all imperial and you do not have a lot of imperial screw bits in uh, Allen. It is something I need to purchase. It will be a lot more easy to investigate. Okay, the screws here are captive, so you cannot lose them. And so, a look at this unit. So obviously, uh, some kind of a germanium prism mounted. So there must be a motor inside somewhere on the circuit board at the back. So I will then do this, but first I want to make sure I reinstall the correct way. So just a black uh, index here will be enough. And three screws. Again, captive screws it seems. So I did not see any other rotating prism in the uh, previous uh, thermal camera tear down I made, there was two prism on here, only one. Okay, so not much to see. Little circuit board here, probably a motor driver with uh, surface mount parts, uh, feedback sensors here, yes, I can see. 
Il y a toujours un petit peu de caméra, mais il y a des rotary encoders, il semble, pour le speed ici. Le visionnet va se pousser de un glace, un disque, vous pouvez le guesser. Vous pouvez barely voir ici. Mais je ne vais pas prendre ça en partie, parce que c'est vraiment really délicat ici. Vous avez un glace disque, donc pour le speed pick-up, il y a un moteur dans le milieu, regardez ici, probablement ici, donc peut-être ces trois wires ici sont pour un moteur de phase pour attirer ce prisme d'assemblage, mais naturellement, si c'est un prisme, un frais de lumière doit être capable de venir à l'intérieur come back at the other side so maybe the motor is more located uh, in here at the bottom because or it is just a mirror prism not easy to tell it is not extremely heavy so maybe this part is not germanium maybe they are just optical mirrors Because in fact, I have to think what happens in here. Uh, let me figure it out. You have a cover here. Your uh, infrared thermal light will come here. It will be reflected. Yes. Uh, by this and then goes in this circuit, in this uh, optical path. So it is some kind of scanning mirror, but uh, I guess it is just uh, really mirrors, like uh, in a thermal printer, uh, excuse me, in a laser printer. Let me just grab one sample. This uh, six sides mirror in a, of a laser printer must be more or less the same thing here quite uh, interesting i was hoping a big germanium prism but maybe not excuse me i clean it okay so oops this is interesting and i did just lose a screw inside the device so I will put this back together and then we will try to remove the business and the sensor here. So, how to remove the sensor assembly? Obviously, I will need to disconnect the flat flex at this level. But first, I guess the deal is to undo some of the screws here, but I am not exactly sure which one. And you can see they are sealed with some kind of green epoxy group. They are stuck in place like this. And it is not the correct size. So let me try to find yes, the correct one. So will it move if I undo the four external screws? Excuse me, I will. You see what you did see what it is looking like anyway, so you will undo from the side and it will be safer of this uh, unit. So it uh, looks like nothing is happening. If I undo the four external screws. Let me first try not to lose any washer. I will deal with it later. Probably. Okay. And no, it is not moving at all. So there are four screws here, but I cannot access the two bottom screws. Not easily at least. So let me try to undo the four other ones here before trying any further me. A stronger uh, system. I will first try this. Ah, 
The problem is always to find the matching screw bit, guys. Really annoying. Because they all look the same, but there are tiny difference and will make actually a big difference. This one. Okay. So this thing is actually uh, pretty simple inside, very modular construction. I guess all the important stuff is happening in here. I have no idea of what I will find. Oh, okay, we are good. We are good, guys. It is coming off, so I need now to undo very carefully these uh, connectors. With this another, another, yet another screw bit. This one, yes. I hope they are connectors, but I think so. Excuse me, this is totally over in the way. So as a reminder, the Yugs sticker was on the top. You know what, I will do another little witness mark. So it will be easier for me. Interesting stuff. This assembly must be super expensive. So obviously, if it is a thermal camera, you have no monitor or anything, so the output of it must be processed elsewhere and displayed elsewhere in the borsite, probably. But I do not have a wall tank borsite, so I will not be able to tell. Okay, quite a particular kind of connector here. I've never seen it before. It is always the kind of connector you need to undo evenly both sides. If not, you may break it or bend the pins. Okay, so we are good. The business end is removed. And I might be able to try to take it further apart. So what do we have here? Ah, here is the information for you. The only available information. So I am not sure of what will happen if I undo the back plate. I will try with this first. Maybe it will go nowhere, but we first try this. Uh, always witness mark. Now, uh, not much apparently. I hope it is not sealed in here with uh, something. So, what I can do now is uh, try to undo this uh, and we have four little screws, so it looks like it will pull out once they are not even tight. Okay. Very particular smell coming from this thing, by the way. I hope it will come. If not, it may be a dead end to this teardown. What? Oh, 
maybe I did not forget one score no okay uh, it is glued with seal here like this and like this Uh, are there screws in here? Yes, there are more allen screws. So that it may allow me to access, to remove the wall inside, inside, up at least. So obviously this device is not to be reused anytime soon, so... Of course, not the correct bit. Let me try this one. Yes, quite lucky here. I have no idea of what will happen. Really? Okay, it is coming loose, this plate, at least. Okay, I don't know what. Uh, not much, apparently. It is written bias 3 volts on this thing. Really? It looks like. Oops. No. Uh, uh -huh. I am very annoyed. Oh. Look at this, it is interesting, there is a little... Uh... Oh! Always dig, guys, always dig. Because here it seems I did... Okay... What else? Uh, screws at least. Screws are always good. So there is here some kind of little index for precise adjustment of something. You can see angular adjustment. Pretty interesting. And <coughs> so this is coming. Try not to damage the pins at the other side, if possible. Let me check. So they seem all right. Okay. I'll zoom a little bit. And then you can see more of a mess on my desk. Whoops. This one is not making the right side sound, guys. Looks like some string is loose inside now. Mm. Oops. Okay. Um. Oh, interesting. I did just say something seems to be loose inside, and here we are, but at least 
at least uh, guys well uh, interesting and here I believe it is the end I will not be able to go any further because as you can see uh, it is all sealed and closed uh, our connectors here are connected here with another flat flex to this ring of uh, small devices in this uh, white ring with red compound each time two pins so we must have some kind of a ring of sensors here but it is not possible to tell at all what it is we are obviously our tank of uh, coolant here in the middle and uh, wires going red wire here going to the inside this so it must be why it is written bias 3 volts we must we have a dc power supply going to this thing allowing it to work there is a sealed piece of pipe here and it is all what i can do i will not be able to dig any further sadly as you can see, uh, this thing will keep his uh, mystery. Probably super expensive piece for sure. Uh, we have a ring of sensors around the cryo unit, cold unit. So I do not know if the sensors themselves are thermally sensitive or if there is something else inside. Very interesting. Everything comes the excuse me thermal light in between quotes of course comes uh, in air and then and I do not know where this is all laser welded so I will not be able to do anything else but well I can tell you this was interesting uh, not something you see every day like as an assembly for sure let me put this out of the way out of the way because this is a shot I want to keep I mean I am not going to take it apart anytime soon again assembly would be reassembly would be tedious so okay interesting Probably here a good uh, thumbnail for the video. Interesting. Okay, so if you have any idea of what we, this could be and how it could work, I will be interested. So, uh, I guess it is all for this. I will now try to put it back together. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.